Hello everyone. Recently, the 3.30 update dropped and ignited some huge negative reactions from the community. And in light of that, Namco has recently dropped the 3.31 update, which is aimed to mainly address some of the issues and complaints that were brought up previously. Just like my 3.30 update video, I won't be going over every single change, but mainly going over the general trends and major changes that might potentially disrupt the meta. The biggest causes for outrage in the 3.30 update were the tracking buffs to the Mishima Hellsweep and the decreased recovery to the EWGF. The Hellsweep change has been reverted in this update, meaning that it can be sidewalked to the left fairly easily by nearly everyone again, similar to pre-3.30. However, the EWGF change was oddly not reverted. This was arguably the larger change from 3.30 since the Hellsuit tracking, while it was a major change, mattered much less at high level play as Mishima players often realign with their opponent with their wave dash anyway. However, the EWGF still being so hard to wave punish makes it a low risk keep out and pressure tool. And why it was a bad change is explained very well in this clip by Peter on our podcast, Back to the Lab, which was recorded when the 3.30 update had just dropped at the time. I would probably keep the tracking of the hell sweep mm. over the three frames of the the um, electric the electric the reason why is because it feels bad when you duck intentionally yes. to avoid an electric and then and then you don't still get don't get the punish and then you right? get punished <laughs> and then and then you get punished This update also brings some big changes, mainly buffs, to several characters who were long complained about for being low tier. Katarina, Gigas, and Eliza all received some quality of life changes that helped their gameplay a fair bit. Katarina got a major property change on her Harrier 1. It now knocks down on counter hit, giving a guaranteed full up forward forward 3. This means that if opponents try to punish her 444 with their jabs, she can get a much bigger reward off her Harrier 1 now since it will counter hit punishment attempts. Aside from that, she also got several frame data changes. Her chunky lows in down forward 3 plus 4 and full crouch down forward 4 both went from minus 1 and neutral respectively to plus 1 on hit. Down forward 4 went from plus 1 to plus 4 on hit. And her 3 string also went from plus 1 to plus 4 on hit. And finally, her running 3 went from plus 1 to plus 5 on block, making her overall pressure and lockdown significantly scarier than before. Gigas' while standing 2-3 and while standing 2-4 are now both more delayable by 9 frames, making his pressure from his while standing 2 a little scarier, as the opponent has to guess on whether to be patient, thus potentially eating another mix-up, or to attempt to challenge his string, which could lead to them getting counter hit. His main approach tool in forward forward 2 got a damage increase from 20 points to 25. Sidestep 2, which is a high homing launcher, has been made safe from minus 12 to minus 9, though it's still pretty risky due to its slow speed. Golem 2, which is one of Gigas' wall bounce moves, has gone from minus 8 to neutral on block, and the pushback has also been reduced, making it harder for the opponent to backdash and avoid certain key moves like down forward 1 or down back 2 afterwards. His down forward 4 also receives several nice changes. It now leaves the opponent closer on hit, making it easier to pressure afterwards, and the full string in down forward 4 for 1 plus 2 is also now a natural combo on counter hit, as it should have been to begin with. Aliza's forward forward 3 3 is now a full launcher on male characters by following up with back 4 quarter circle back 1 as the screw, making her forward forward 3 mix up finally a major threat. Before, there wasn't really much incentive to not duck forward forward 3 4, since it was significantly more dangerous than forward forward 3 3, but now that they are both launchers, the choice becomes much more blurred. The full combo isn't always consistent though, particularly on smaller hitbox male characters, in which case she can get a guaranteed 1 plus 2 or forward forward 2 follow up which works on all characters. Moon Glide 4 now has a different knockdown animation. Before, it only granted a hard knockdown, while now it gives a floated knockdown, giving her several guaranteed follow ups, and if you have meter, even an EX dive kick for a full combo, making her Moon Glide 50 50 mix up significantly more dangerous. Back 1 2 now has much better tracking, and is basically unsteppable and has to be sidewalked to avoid the whole string.
Several other characters also got minor changes. Leroy got a huge barrage of nerfs to his frame data. His downfall 1 is now minus 3 on block, which is a fairly reasonable change, and it's also been made much worse on hit, going from plus 5 to plus 3. His downfall 1 4 also saw a similar change, going from plus 6 on hit to only plus 3. His Hermit 4 1 plus 2 is now much easier to punish. Downfall 4 3 saw a slight damage reduction, decreasing his combo damage yet again, and his up forward 3 plus 4 has been made much worse on block, going from minus 10 to minus 14, and you can punish it with 10 frame moves regardless of whether they finish the string or not. Arguably the largest change, however, is to his down 2, which is Leroy's best low. It has been made much worse on block, going from minus 12 to minus 15, and can still be launched if down 2 4 is delayed. Vakum Ram's throw break window bug has finally been fixed, and it now falls in line with the other throws in the game, going from a 14 frame to a 20 frame break window. Chloe's just frame 2 2 is now much easier to do, and also does slightly more damage. Her down 3 plus 4 is now a natural combo, and back 1 is back to being a counter hit launcher, making it a slightly better Okizemi tool, though it isn't quite the same as the season 1 counter hit property, in that the current version gives a back turn combo instead. IMO, this patch was definitely much better than the previous one. It not only served a little as damage control, mainly to the Mishima Hell Sweep, but also addresses some long running issues, like the lack of buffs to lower tier characters, namely Gigas, Eliza, and Katarina. This patch was pretty small and reserved, just like the last one, so there are obviously some issues that still remain. I still think the electric buff was a bigger issue than the Hell Sweep, Falcon Ram's combo damage is still way too high. Geese's dig jab combo was removed, yet Akuma's down 2 into fireball FADC combo still exists, which is inconsistent from a balancing perspective, and this patch also decided to mainly nerf Leroy and pretty much nobody else. So the characters I mentioned in the last update video that were expected to be nerfed still didn't get changed. The silver lining, however, is that this isn't the last of the patches that we will receive, as stated by Harada on Twitter. However, this also brings into question how often we should receive patches like these. Changes to the meta are normal to keep a game exciting, but when they happen so often and seemingly randomly, it starts to become more annoying than anything. Naturally, major changes to pre-nerf Leroy or Fakum Ram's throw were some things that needed urgent fixes, but other things like the minor damage increases or obnoxious changes like the Huarang's right foot forward back 2 and the EWGF recovery are just unnecessary changes that don't necessarily affect the meta in a healthy way, but just makes the game more annoying to play. Just like the previous update, I don't think this will affect anyone's tier list in any major way, perhaps with the exception of Leroy, who was nerfed quite a bit this time. However, with the lack of tournaments going around, it's incredibly hard to gauge how significant changes from these patches will be, both for players and especially for the balance team. But overall, I think this patch was a success, and it seems the community largely agrees on this. This fixed several issues while addressing some long complaint about balancing decisions, which shows that the balancing team is actually listening to community feedback. Hopefully future patches can follow the same trend and help the game achieve a proper balance and more stable meta in the future. Thank you everyone for watching this quick video on the 3.31 update. A massive shout out to Land94 for helping me with the Katarina changes, as well as Eli, aka Alchemist, for helping me with the Gigas and Elisa changes. I personally don't really know much about these characters, so their help was very much invaluable. Links to their social medias will be in the description below. Please also follow my Twitter and join the Discord server if you like. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.